Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. I'm your host, Tony. And uh, this will be the first beer in the uh, beers that Keith, uh, first beer review of the beers that Keith sent me. I'm going to go ahead and do Boulevard Smokestack Series Tank 7. It's their farmhouse ale. Um, I guess that's kind of like a Saison. Um, I'm not quite sure um, if it is a totally uh, category onto itself. I've never had one before, um, but I'm pretty sure it's a, like their take on, on a Saison. A um, little bit of uh, description from the website. It says, most breweries have at least one piece of equipment that's just a bit persnickety. Here at Boulevard, we have fermenter number seven, the black sheep of our cellar family. Ironically, when our brewers were experimenting with variations on a traditional uh, Belgian-style farmhouse ale, the perfect combination of elements came together in that very vessel. You could call it fate, but they just call it Tank 7, and so it is. Beginning with a big surge of fruity aromatics and gro grapefruit, the grapefruit hoppiness, uh, hoppy notes, the flavor of this complex straw-colored ale tapers off to a peppery dry finish. Hmm. Ah, uh, sounds very, very yummy. Well, let's go ahead and crack into it and get on with this re review. Really neat Boulevard Smokestack Series cap. Let's go ahead and pour into a snifter so I can attempt to get as much out of it as possible. Wow, they were lying. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous straw color. Um, wow. Tons of carbonation, stick it to the glass. Got about a finger's worth of a really beautiful white head on it. Um, uh, fairly hazy, um, but still letting plenty of light through. Um, give me a better view of this bottle. Pretty neat. It's, uh, it's 12 fluid ounces, but um, it's basically shaped like a 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, what else? Oh, it's 8% um, ABV. So, let's go ahead and get a nose on it. Oh yeah, definitely getting a lot of citrus hoppiness in there. Definitely grapefruity. Getting some sweetness in there. Almost kind of like a... Um, just like the color, I'm getting sort of like a straw, kind of like a straw aroma. Yeah, it's kind of like dry straw, not wet straw. That that's a little, it's a little bit of a harsh smell for a beer, but almost, almost like a draw, uh, dry straw quality, a draw, <laughs> dry straw uh, in the nose. Um, Let's see, I think I have an ingredient sheet. Um, no, I guess not. I guess I didn't print it off. But anyways, um, yeah, ton of uh, grapefruity citrus hoppiness. Definitely get some malty sweetness in there and straw aroma. Let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers, guys. Wow, definitely get some carbonation on the tongue. Um, definitely got citrus in there. Getting kind of like a um, like a uh, a bready quality to it, um, which is very very flavorful. Um, definitely, um, definitely got the sweetness in there. Grapefruity hoppiness. Um, ooh, there, I am getting a little bit of. Um, Kind of a pepperiness in the back of the tongue, just like the uh, description had said. I'm not getting too much uh, hot bitterness, to be honest. I mean, there there is a little bit on the on the tongue, um, but it's not overly uh, overpowering any of the other aspects of it. Um, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure this is a saison. Um, and I gotta tell you, this is the best damn saison I ever had. Um, wow. 
and that 8% ABV, I'm not, not getting any of that on the palate. No warming in the back of the throat or in the chest. Um, definitely not getting any, any of the alcohol flavor. Wow. Definitely getting that that nice sort of biscuit, biscuity sort of a flavor. Um, that's kind of indicative of beers of this color. Um, not all of them. Definitely getting some uh, that grapefruit hoppiness. Slight bitterness. Mm. Fairly easy drinking. Um, that carbonation is, is sticking around as far as on the palate, but um, it kind of it really works really well. It's, it um, it acts almost to kind of cleanse the palate for the next drink. And um, I tell you what, it's just like uh, each successive drink is like my first because I'm getting those same awesome flavor qualities that I got in that first sip. I'm getting it in every single drink. I mean, this is absolutely spectacular. I mean, all the flavors are really working well together. Um, that car, uh, just the right amount of carbonation to cleanse the palate for that next drink. Um, wow. Would I drink this again? Hell yeah. This is very, very tasty, very refreshing. It's, uh, I don't know what the temperature is outside, but um, in this room here, it's fairly hot. And um, the temperature in this room is dictated by the temperature outside because uh, there's no air, air conditioning in this particular room of the house. Um, but man, this is very, very flavorful. Um, <clears throat> ooh, that kind of pe uh, peppery uh, after aftertaste is kind of picking up a little bit. Not like. Um, not overpowering, but it, it's a little more predominant than what it was uh, there in the beginning. Wow. Man, Keith. I tell you what, thank you for sending me this beer. This is damn tasty. Um, normally a beer of this color, I'd give you guys a, a final chug, but you know what? I think I'm going to sip on this, and uh, as far as a grade, uh, not particularly my style of beer, but for a farmhouse ale or saison, whatever you want to call it, this is damn tasty and uh, it's definitely turning me on to the style because I've had other saisons that were pretty, I don't know, I couldn't, I could barely finish it, but um, super yummy, scale of 1 to 10, I give this thing a, a 9 out of 10. This is very, very good. Um, I'll give you guys a final cheers. But I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. This is absolutely delicious. Thanks again, Keith. Nine out of ten, man. That's definitely a winner. Cheers, guys. Wow. Absolutely phenomenal beer. Thanks again, Keith. Cheers to you.